Well, this week, two teenagers from Canisius High School will travel across the Atlantic Ocean to represent Team USA in the World Rowing Championships in Paris. Canisius has sent rowers to Worlds before, and they've won. Two on your side is Danielle Church joining us now. Danielle, the boys will be the youngest, though, from Canisius to compete. Yeah, that's right, Kate. The two will be competing in the under 19 age category. And what I've been told is one of the most difficult boats to also compete in compete in. Max Burgett on the left is 16 and James Dodman on the right is 17. The two will be seniors at Canisius in the fall. They started rowing in high school with no prior experience when they were just freshmen. James couldn't play hockey anymore after breaking his two arms and took up rowing. The two have been teammates ever since. Last month they came in second place at the U.S. Rowing Trials in Sarasota, Florida, but the team that came in first decided not to take the bid for Worlds because they wanted to go to a selection camp for bigger boats. Max and James were next in line and are now headed to Worlds for the first time, and the community helped them to raise $25,000 so they could pay for all of it. Honestly, without them, we probably wouldn't even be here right now. They, they really helped us uh, be on, uh, on this journey. This is a like, once-in-a-lifetime experience for a lot of people, and some people never, like most people, don't even go to this. So it's, we're super, super pumped. They were racing against uh, guys way, way bigger than them, way more experienced than them, guys that have been on the national team for a couple of years, um, guys that are rowing in big-time programs across the country. So this is definitely not something that's easy to get to. James and Max are trying to not only take first place in Paris, they're also trying to do the 2,000 meters in 6 minutes and 40 seconds. And to get an idea of how hard that is, they tell me it's pretty competitive to just come in under 7 minutes. James and Max leave for Paris on Wednesday. We wish them both the best of luck and safe travels. I'll have much more on their story, including what they're looking forward to the most, coming up at 6 tonight. In the newsroom, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.